everyone welcome to my youtube channel and um, i've tried to record this too many times my attempts have failed because my cats just won't leave me alone and my dogs are also around so you might just hear a lot of uh, noises this is it this is the true life of an artist who owns cats and dogs so yep yeah. all right so for this video i thought it would be interesting to give you a tour of all my inktobers i did share my Inktober 2017 on Instagram and Twitter and you guys really liked it um, the video I think it was cut because um, it was too long so I thought I'll just do it again for YouTube this might be fun so yeah I hope you guys like it I'll just start with 2015 so yeah, a little backstory is that the creator Jake Parker created Inktober for himself. It was a personal challenge in 2009. It was a way of him improving his thinking skills. And um, eventually with time, people were finding out what he was doing. And I guess it became this worldwide event where all artists join up together in October to draw for the 31 days and um, practice their inking skills. So yeah, in 2014, I didn't have a list at the time. I, just, I had just found out about Inktober, so I thought the idea was, okay, draw something every day in ink, and that's simply it. And I didn't pay much attention to the list or tools or anything like that. So I was just using a normal big pen, so every day I would just draw something random. I would do some fan art, I would do some studies, some portraits, and I did a few of them, maybe 10, but um, it really didn't work out very well, and I started to feel not very motivated. So I planned that the next year I would actually try it properly. It, it worked very well, I think. And I was able to do the, the full 31 drawings. So yeah, that's basically what Inktober is and kind of how I took it from this year on. Um, yeah, I've kept my lists personal, able to change it whenever I feel like it. Um, I just have fun with it. I do ink traditionally. Um, I do sketch beforehand. Um, but yeah, I kept it simple and fun and I really enjoy it. So this is day one of Inktober 2015. This is actually f interesting because I did this one without a sketch. I just literally jumped into it with red pen because I thought, well, the red is not going to be very visible. So I'm just going to start with red and that would allow me to then ink on top with black. You know, because I thought, oh, let's make this a really big challenge and not use pencil. And um, it's not that I don't like this. I'm not really happy with it. There's a lot of mistakes. She came a bit weird, her features. So, yeah, I don't think I want to do this again. Sketching right away with red pen and then add all these details. It just doesn't work for me. On day two, I drew Legolas. Again, I did start with a red pen and then inking black on top. It didn't come out very well. This face has so many issues with proportions and um, I'm really not very happy with it, but I did enjoy it. And then on day three, I used a pencil first and then started inking. And I believe I used the reference for his pose, but it did help a lot more. I'm a lot happier with this instead of these, you can see they're more rough and the red here is very noticeable and I, I just didn't like this result. But sketching first, using a reference really did help. And then on day four, I did something original and again, I sketched first and then inked. And by the way, if you're wondering what inking tools I've used, I just use a regular mechanical pencil to sketch and then I would ink with um, fine liner. I usually use the Uni brand. And um, for coloring, I really, really, really like the Faber-Castell pit pens. I'm not sure if th this is how you say it, but yeah, I love the pit brush pens. They're, they're, they have India ink inside, which is amazing. They don't bleed the paper, as you can see. Because, you know, you can use Copics and they just bleed through the paper and the brush pens don't and they look amazing. You can just use several, you know, um, warm uh, grays, cold grays to just have the contrast and I think it looks really nice. Day five, I used a reference from a gardening book. I saw this um, greenhouse 
and I really, really loved it. And I thought it was going to be a challenge to draw all the plants. <laughs> and at the time, I, I was really happy with it, but um, it came out very messy. And uh, yeah, I added a little character to make it a bit more interesting. And I just really enjoyed this. Day six, I uh, used a reference for the horse part and for the bird. And uh, <laughs> again, I was really happy with this. I sketched beforehand and um, and then inked. Yeah, it's gonna be, that's the process for the whole Inktober. Um, for this Inktober, I remember that my main theme, first of all, was illustrations. I wanted to do detailed illustrations and use as many references as necessary to make it look nice. And uh, I wanted also to try doing, drawing more fantasy characters, try to push my imagination a little further and do something more meaningful instead of just looking pretty. Because I remember at that time that I was drawing very cutesy portraits, just cute girls. And um, for Inktober, I really wanted to change it up and really push myself. On day seven, I did a little mermaid. My birthday is on the 7th of October, and I've always liked to keep the these days light and fun, so that I would have to, the rest of the day to enjoy. Oh yeah, day eight. This is where I got when I got uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2, the game, and I was playing it a lot, and I thought I'll just do a fan out of the characters. I really, really enjoyed it. This is completely without reference, and again, I was trying to push myself to try and do something fun and dynamic without looking at reference, and I was just really happy with it, and um, had a blast. And again, I was trying to do th different things, and I don't think I'll do this again because I'm not going to say it looks bad, but it just looks so weird because I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I remember that at the beginning it looked better, but then I kept adding, and you know when you just you just want to add more and more and more until it comes to a point that you've just done too much and you can't go back. So yeah, this is the result. And uh, I don't hate it, but it, it doesn't fit the rest. Day 10, uh, again, just I kept it very simple around here, uh, around these days, but um, yeah, just a cute pretty little girl in a dress and kept it very light. And uh, day 11, <laughs> another thing that in October is really exciting is The Walking Dead. It always returns on October and this year I guess it was on the 11th and I kept it related to zombies. And yes, yeah, so I drew a girl that has had been bitten. Again, <laughs> my October is the themes, especially this year, there's no real theme and uh, I just wanted to focus on a few challenges and keep it fun. I always do that, and um, so that's why this has nothing to do with that, but yeah. Day 12, oh yeah. I remember from this point on, I kept it well-framed. I really did give it my best to keep it detailed, and I noticed that I was improving a lot more because of that. I was trying my best to keep it neat and within the context, that makes sense and uh, I try to use references when necessary but uh, keep it also within the imagination this one I use reference for the background kept it very light and then added a character to make it look pretty and fantasy and I really really liked this illustration I really liked how it turned out even though I messed up some areas here and then I, I decided to add black in it doesn't you can still see that there's something underneath, so it's not the prettiest thing. But yeah, at day 14, I wanted to do it more like a comic and keep the lines very simple and just add a bit of contrast, not make it too, um, the shadows and um, the highlights too different. So it's very, you know, almost grayish and not so much black against white. These hands were a bit of a pain, but fun. Day 15, and I messed up this area really badly. <laughs> really badly, and I tried to cover it up, didn't work, and then I had to put more ink on top, and 
Ah, oh, you can still notice it. Day 16. Yeah, I wanted to draw more guys and keep it fantasy. And this is actually an original character called the Dragon. Very original name. Um, day 17, I drew Med Medusa. Is that how you say it? Medusa? Yeah, kept it an original concept look. And I actually really like this. The only thing that I, oh, that I really don't like is the arm and hand. It looks very awkward. But other than that, I really enjoyed this one. I didn't use reference for the snakes, which is a bad thing. I should have used reference, because some of them look a bit like a thumb. <laughs> so it doesn't look great. Day 18, another couple. I did use reference for the bicycle. Again, at this time, I already felt my skills improving a lot. Whether it was the poses, the storytelling, or, you know, just keep it very neat. I already felt such an improvement and I was getting really happy. I was, I think, at this time I was accomplishing more with Inktober than I've ever been able to because, I don't know, I, I really enjoyed it. And to this day, Inktober is my favorite thing ever. Day 19, I drew Alice in Wonderland. I really liked this piece and I remember that everyone really liked it as well. And you know, I like how it's framed. I like how I was able to add some contrast. Still not too happy because the black in this gray was too close. So yeah, that's one thing with ink. You can't really go back. So once you do it, you do it and that's it. Um, but other than that, I really liked it. Day 20, again, I was trying to push my limits and I wanted to draw another guy, keep it fantasy, but I had this idea. You know how in games and um, movies and anything, really, they put women into weird outfits that don't protect their chest, don't protect, doesn't protect their legs or anything. So I thought I'll draw a guy with an outfit that makes no sense and kind of would leave him unprotected. And yeah, that's what I did. I left his chest unprotected, which they do sometimes leave guys with armors with their chest open. Um, but yeah, I think if he was attacked, he probably wouldn't be, I don't think he would do very well. It was just a fun challenge, really. And then I left him saying, what is this? Again, it doesn't fit the rest, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, day 21, I wanted to draw a girl snorkeling, and uh, this was it. I had a lot of fun with this. I really did. Again, it was another result of my skills improving, and I was just having so much fun with it. Day 22, I drew Xena. Yeah, I think it's her name. The princess, the warrior. Xena. I loved that series I, when I was a kid. I kept watching it over and over and over, and I wanted to be her. And uh, so yeah, I wanted to draw her in my style, I guess. And uh, I didn't use reference. I did look up her outfit, but didn't use reference. So she is a muscular, strong woman. So this was a lot of fun to try instead of my usually cute, tiny girls. Uh, day 23, I used some reference for the background. Again, my idea with Linktober is that if I don't know or if I don't feel comfortable with drawing something, I'll just look up reference and then add something from my imagination just to keep it interesting and so that I can improve my skills. And um, again, I drew a guy, which is not that usual, but I've kept, I think I've kept it fun and interesting and still work on you know my storytelling and illustration day 24 that's my mom's birthday I decided to keep related and I wanted to draw her something cute and dedicated to her so I did a badger yeah it looks cute it was a bit difficult because I don't think I've accomplished the contrast that I would like it's too muddy around here and then too light which then kind of matches with his fur, so I don't know. Not too happy with how it came out in terms of contrast. Day 25, I drew Kaya, one of my favorite games of all time. Um, it's an old game, but I loved this game when I was a kid. It's fantasy, the colors are amazing. It definitely inspired my art style to this day. I wish I still had a PlayStation 2 and the game so that I could play it again. I would do anything to play the game again. 
And um, so yeah, I drew a fan out of her. Day 26, I drew an elf girl, fantasy related. And I wanted to draw some wings, so I gave her some wings. I kind of like the contrast in this one. How the background is so dark, her clothes are dark. I guess these, these are cl <laughs> clouds, even though they don't really look like clouds. And uh, I don't know, I managed to give it some light here with white pen to make it really look like she was, you know, being gl glowing from that stone piece. And uh, this, I think I was getting a bit tired. So on day 27, I did just a regular portrait. Typical and comfort zone. Day 28, I drew a vampire that likes sweets. So she has a sweet tooth. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. I liked it, fun, but also comfort zone. Oh, I remember this. Day 29, I decided to draw I also love Tomb Raider. Lara Croft is my hero. And um, I wanted to draw a fan out of her and to push my limits a bit again. So I wanted to do an illustration with her instead of just drawing her. And I got really frustrated with this one, very, because the background sucks. It looks terrible. She, I mean, it's not terrible. Her hand came out so messed up. I don't even know. And um, I think, I don't know, I don't know why this one failed. I did the sketch before and then inked. And so the sketch was already bad, you know? And I was very disappointed with this one, but still like it. It's just that maybe I was tired and I tried to do it maybe when I wasn't ready. I should have kept it simple, like these two. On day 30, I was feeling a bit more motivated I guess so I drew my character Bun which is part of a story that I've I've started in 2009 and I'm still trying to develop and um, sometimes it's just, I just do cute drawings of her this one I wanted to do a cute illustration of her in part of her world and um, yeah she likes mushrooms and um, yeah so that's it I wasn't too happy with the background it's too simple I didn't use reference, I didn't really think much about it, so it doesn't make sense, there's just leaves coming out of, you know, the back. So it doesn't look great, but uh, I was happy with the look overall. And day 31, the last one, uh, I kept it Halloween related and drew a cute witch with her two cats, which are based on my own cat. Quite simple, quite cute. That was the last day of Inktober 2015. What I take from this one, uh, it was my first attempt at doing all the 31 days and I had a lot of fun. I learned a lot from it. I did some mistakes and um, I improved my skills. I remember coming out of Inktober and feeling so much more inspired and able to draw the things that I wouldn't be able to before because it did give me the confidence to just do it and try and I think it came out okay. Um, but I know that the next year I did do a lot better. And this is Inktober from 2016. Again, the list has changed throughout the month. I do plan it before October and then I change it all. And uh, this one did very well. Some people really liked some of the drawings and I was really, really happy about that. Some of them are a bit messy. Again, I do the same thing. Like they start a bit messy and then they get a little better. But yeah. On the first day I drew two uh, female characters just having a conversation. Again, a cute illustration with an elf girl. This one I kept very simple. Because I guess some of the days I want to keep it simple so I can rest from the day before or I just don't feel like adding the same detail as usual. Day four, I used a reference for the tiger and I just wanted to draw a cool girl with a tiger and add some dark mystery fantasy-ish theme to it. Really like how it came out. There was a few mistakes with the tiger, but overall really fun. Day five, this was based on anxiety. It was calming to draw this 
I wanted to really give the effect that anxiety gives, which comes from within. Really like doing this though. Day six, a cute character that likes bun bunnies. I just wanted to draw something a bit simple again and kind of like a comic style. Day seven, Again, it was my birthday, so I kept it fun, light, and sweet. I really like this one. Day eight. I With this one, I wanted to draw lines and keep it more like a brush pen than actually drawing with a fine liner. So I kept it... Oh, and I didn't use a sketch for this one. That's right. This one was just inking straight away. I wanted to see how it would turn out. And I really like how it came out. It's fun. Day 9, I drew a cute dancing witch. Oh, day 10. <sighs> there were so many mistakes with this one. And I tried to cover it all with the black. And I just think it doesn't look great. Day 11, Lara Croft again. Kept it very simple. I'll say it's Lara Croft. I think this is the day when the game came out, so I wanted to, to celebrate the launch of the game with a drawing of Lara Croft. Day 12, just a cute character, a bit more dark than usual. Um, day 13, another character. I guess this one I was keeping it very simple, maybe I was a bit unsure of what exactly to draw. Day 14, I drew a couple. I remember someone commenting that they don't understand why the tube is connected, like the two of them. I do not explain. It's weird, I know. Very strange. Fun to draw, I guess. Um, this looks a bit strange. I like it, but it was rushed, very rushed. This one I used a reference for the background. Again, I went to my gardening book and I really liked the setting. And I thought, I'll add a girl that is a witch. And um, she's doing some magic of reading the book, I guess. But in my head, she wasn't happy about having powers. And this is the result. I really like her. There was a lot of mistakes on her feet, so I tried to cover with white pen. Um, but the texture came out really fun. So yeah. Day 17. I think I was very, very tired and bored and didn't know what to draw, so I just did this. This is the laziest Inktober drawing I've ever done. Oh, day 18, I drew a bun again and her little world. Again, this one doesn't make sense with the other one because I keep going back and forth with bun and her world. I don't know if she, I want her to be tiny, living in a big world, or if I want her to be regular size as humans. Yeah, some of the drawings don't make sense in uh, overall, but yeah, I really like this one, it turned out really cute. Also really like this one, don't know something about it, but can't explain what it is. <laughs> Day 20, I drew a regular portrait, looking pretty I guess. Now that I'm looking at this, I was really lazy this year. <laughs> uh, yeah, I drew a girl drawing with her tiny dog next to her and a cappuccino. I can relate to it. But uh, yeah, I remember liking this more before I colored it. I liked the line work. I feel like it didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted. But yeah. Day 22, I drew a girl wearing some cool clothes. She had a lantern that looks like a shower head. <laughs> And uh, she's looking for someone, I guess. I'm not too sure. Day 23. I guess The Walking Dead came out on this day because she's a zombie with an eyeball falling out. Weird. I know. Weird. <laughs> oh, day 24. I drew Sailor Moon in cute casual clothes. Day 25. And uh, I guess I went back to the idea that I want to draw guys in a fantasy clothes and looking a bit strange, a bit grumpy. That's all it is. So at yeah, 26, I wanted to draw more than two characters, so I drew, I drew three girlfriends and the symbol of infinite on the top, which makes no sense. When I did the digital editing for prints, I took that thing down. 
because it, it makes no sense. They look cute, all of them, but that symbol, it is to, you know, the meaning of friendship lasts forever, but um, looks a bit weird. Day 27, I wanted to draw a girl and a horse. And I drew her riding, and it was very rushed. I think in the end I didn't enjoy it as much. So yeah, it looks very strange. Day 28, I drew Bun again, and once again, she is tiny, but I really like this one, it's cute. Day 29, I kept this one simple as well, and I just used my brown pens. Um, these ones, dark sepia. I really liked it, I really like how dynamic and pretty it looks, but doesn't match the rest. So I think it was just a bit rushed. Day 30, I wanted to draw a chubby mermaid and she came out looking a bit weird. The angles and everything, it doesn't look... This arm is really... I really don't like it. I like the dynamic and how it came out, but some parts don't make as much sense as it, as it should. Uh, last day, and I drew another Halloween related thing. I drew, I guess, a vampire that is a witch. This outfit. Uh, I don't know what to say about it. Anyway, let's move on to what I think is my best Inktober. So this one is from last year. I made prints of it myself. I also did a Zin, which also sold pretty well. I still have a few of them in my shop. I am really, really happy with this one. I think it's definitely the best one. Even the sketchbook that I use, I think it's a lot better than those. As you can see, they smudge a lot because of the ink. Yeah, let's just go into Inktober 17. I remember last year I tried to do them on single paper but then I thought oh maybe I'll do it on the sketchbook again because I like how they look so I cut the paper and glued to the first page of the sketchbook. I just really like it. I do agree that the anatomy came out a little weird um, but I'm overall I'm really happy with it and um, I think it's important to keep the first drawing simple but also, it represents the whole Inktober that's gonna, you know, come along. And on those two years, they didn't match anything. Nothing made sense. I really wanted to try and make the first one represent the rest. I did do the second one on a single paper as well, and I had to glue it. I only decided from here on to do it on a sketchbook. And I drew a little witch. I am really proud of this Inktober. I, I don't want to repeat myself too much. That I just felt like my skills were at a point that I was really happy with and uh, I think I really did my best with this but had fun. I think it's important to keep it light and fun because it's drawing every day for 31 days. You don't want to be burned out or you know have a, an art block. It's important and also you know you don't want to take too long doing these. Uh, overall they take me about an hour or two hours if I really plan so yeah, I drew a cute little witch. This one I went back to illustrations and making, you know, based on a story. They sleep on flowers, they came, they come out of flowers, there are flowers, I don't know. I think she came out cute. That one didn't come out very well. Kind of looks a bit weird, awkward. But yeah, I like this. It's nice. This one, I... I don't think I have the list here, do I? No, the list is separate. So I don't remember what the day four means. But um, I like it. Really like it. Oh yeah, day five, I wanted to draw more animals in this one. So I drew a turtle and then a character that has a crab on her face. <laughs> Love it as a print. I, I'm really happy with this one. And uh, yeah, the contrast, it, worked out really nice. This year I did use different pens. I used uh, colder grays which turned out to be a bit more greenish and I really love the tones that it gives and it helps separate some of the inks that are close in contrast but not in color. That makes sense. Day six I drew a girl in her bedroom. I don't know what she's doing with her legs. I think in my head she was just getting to sit down so it's capturing that moment. Maybe someone took a picture of her. I don't know. Yeah, really fun. 
So day seven, as you know, it's my birthday, so I kept it related to my sign. I really like this um, this drawing. I like how I did make a lot of mistakes on her face, and I had to add a lot of white paint to cover it up. But overall, I really like it. The hands look a little little awkward, but yeah, the idea is that she's just balancing life. I drew a portrait for this one because I remember that I went out on my birthday and I was too tired the next day so I kept it very simple she came out a little weird on the neck and I had to add a little bit of white paint to cover some smudges but I like her face it turned out cute uh, day nine again this ink tour was based on emotions and how I feel how I want to feel thoughts and storytelling. I wanted to draw something maybe a little more dark without the intention. It was just, you know, to look cool. Day 10. I wanted to draw a character with cool clothes and a pose that looks cool. Don't know how to explain it. I just wanted to draw something that was very appealing, I guess, in a way. And this one, it's a girl falling into a black background. I wanted to use some gold ink, which I don't, I didn't have. And so I used a gold pen and I mean, it's all right. I wish it was gold ink. I messed up her arm very well. <laughs> it's terrible. But when I um, went to edit it to do prints, I did edit all of it digitally and it looked a lot better. But this was a lot of mistakes. Day 12, I wanted to, I had this sketch on my old sketchbook of a girl on the swing and it was very rough and I thought for this day I wanted to pick it up and draw it better for Inktober and I think it came out so pretty. I really like the composition, the contrast, again I used the different cold warm greys which together look really nice. I used some brown, the CP as well. I really like how this one came out. I even like the prints as well. Really happy. Day 13, I drew a witch, doing some potion with a creepy little creature on her shoulder. I guess it's based on a bunny and a um, chameleon. <laughs> Day 14, I drew another cool girl that I wanted to look appealing and kind of work on the style. Uh, I tried to add some weird little shapes, which I guess that I do a lot and I don't know how to explain. The shapes are not needed, but yeah, I really like the character. Um, this one, the character came out really cool. I like the lines in contrast and it's based on my home but I didn't look the reference so it, it, it's not a part of my house. I just wanted to look, you know, familiar and easy for me to just draw something. This one is probably my favorite of all the illustrations that I did this year. I do have the sketches on my Zin. It was so light, it came out so naturally, and I just, I love the shapes, I love the idea. It's definitely one of my favorites. Then I draw a girl at a coffee shop, and um, I remember seeing some pictures, I, I did look up references of coffee shops, but I remember seeing this one with a round window, and I thought, okay, I'll stop looking at references, and I'll just draw something with the round window. So I didn't use references, I kind of just used whatever came up to my mind, but based on that round window that I saw, I really like this one. Um, I like how her pose came out, and um, I don't know, Inktober just makes me so happy. I think my favorite illustrations definitely come from Inktober, which I guess should tell me more about how I do my other paintings digitally and whatnot. I should put more effort. Because um, Inktober, the planning and everything is so much fun. Day 18, I wanted to draw a lot of hair, but in a weird way, and this is what turned out. I love this one. I love the shapes, the lines, I really like this one. Day 19, I wanted to draw plants. Really like this one too. Maybe it's the plants, maybe it's the girl, I really like it. And um, the brown hair really does go well with the cold and warm greys. So yeah, I drew a girl that is planting and potting and the environment is just all plants which I enjoy minus the bugs <laughs> day 20 I drew two girls I wanted to draw cool outfits again more than one character 
and also add some story to it. So they took some pictures and they're seeing what the pictures look like. And I really like this one too. <laughs> I just, I love the colors, the contrast, the outfits, the hair. I like everything. Day 21. I wanted to draw something a little different and more graphic, more based on lines. That's basically it. And these, you know, the white and then the overlay of the lines was done on purpose. But at this point, I'm not sure if they look nice. But again, it's ink, you can't really go back. Day 22. I wanted to draw a girl dancing. I wanted to draw something dynamic and I thought, man, I love the 80s music and I love the 80s fashion. So I just drew a girl from the 80s and listening to music. Overall, I really like how it came out. It, it does look like she's dancing, I think. That's my opinion. <laughs> and uh, this one, I just wanted to draw some animals and a girl and a reflection. This one was a challenge, and but I would like to end result. Really like it. This one I'm not too happy with. The pose came a little, I don't know. I like it and I don't like it. There are things that I just, mm. One of my favorites, and also you guys' favorite, is the cat lady. This is inspired by my two cats, and then a cat that I would like to have, a ginger cat, and plants. And I just wanted to keep it, the composition fun and appealing. I absolutely love this one, still love it so much. It's definitely one of my personal favorites. And uh, funny enough, recently this year, I found a lost cat in my garden. I had to get him a new home which I know is very happy um, but he was a ginger cat and I honestly thought that I was gonna be able to keep him and that it was fate but yeah I wasn't able to keep him yeah my landlord wouldn't be very happy with the idea of me having a third cat so yeah this piece is very very dear to me day 26 I wanted to draw a character based on the walking dead and it's definitely definitely inspired by Michonne I just wanted to draw something a bit more. I wanted to plan an outfit, a setting, a story, and add some personality to the character. I love this one. It really, I think the effort really made it, you know, come alive. Day 27, and um, I drew a witch, a herb witch. I just wanted to draw a lot of hair as well. Yeah, this was really fun. 28, I wanted to draw a cool girl that likes cool brands. I really like doing the gradient on her trousers. Um, I literally just did it with the ink pens and managed to smudge a little bit with my fingers so that it would blend. I really like it. Day 29. I guess I wanted to draw a portrait and use my red ink to make it pop. So I use it on the lips. Still not completely sure about this area. It's a little weird, especially since her bust is floating not too sure so yeah day 30 and i wanted to draw something soothing calming and i don't know i really like how this one came out the sketch was very flowy and very easy as well so when it came to inking it really came out very natural and i like how the colors came out as well very it's very appealing to look at and very comforting so i'm really happy about it day 31 again halloween related and I like horror, I'm a fan of scary stuff. I wanted to draw something a bit weird. I don't know what else to say. It is based kind of like on a vampire story idea. I don't know. I really like how her shape came out. I like how the see-through dress looks. I love how the blood came out. I don't know, it looks cool. And why we think like this, I don't know. Yeah, I really like it. And the next pages are some of the planning that I did for my zin. But yeah, that's all my Inktubers. I really hope that uh, Inktober 18 does come out really nicely as well. Um, I'm already thinking about it. I don't really plan my Inktubers. As you can see, they're kind of like spontaneous. It's all over the place, I guess. I hope you liked this video. I don't know if you enjoy someone talking and explaining the drawings. I usually like it, but if it's too long, I do tend to skip some areas. And um, so I'm gonna try to think about that when I edit this video. I hope 
this was interesting. I guess if you're watching this, please give it a like. Um, let me know what you thought about it. What do you want to see next? Uh, yeah, if you came from Instagram or Twitter, thank you so much for the support. You guys are amazing. And I guess I'll see you next time.